Good morning all. Today I'm going to try soldering wires onto these magnets. These are neodymium magnets. They're um, one millimeter thick, I think, by 10 millimeters in diameter. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one of these onto this metal bracket so that it uh, pulls some of the heat out as I solder, because I was advised by commenters that uh, heating up a magnet might demagnetize it, particularly if you reach the Curie point. Now, I don't know much about that, so I'm just going to do this by trial and error. So I'm warming up my big uh, 60 watt Weller iron. Is it Weller? Yeah, Weller. And uh, when that's hot, I'm going to attempt to solder a wire to this magnet and see if it's still magnetized. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to use these as contacts for lithium cells. So some of these ultra fires, which I'm going to uh, do a video on, which involves charging them with these TP4056 boards. And I just want a, a quick interconnect system so that I can just uh, snap these onto the battery so that it all happens easily and quickly. Right, so let's strip this wire on the minimum length setting. Five millimeters. Uh, oh, that looks a bit... Actually, this black wire always did have copper that looked a bit corroded, but uh, that should tin all right. And I think the iron's up to temperature, so let's give that a go. Oh, that's a bit messy on the tip. I need to wet my sponge, I think. I must get one of those um, things with all the brass shavings in to sort of scrape the tip rather than wiping it on a wet sponge. I think that might be more... Uh, more effective. Okay, now I'm going to try and solder to this magnet. Right, here we go. Live, real time, no no rehearsals, no practice. Oh, that works really well. That took really easily. Right, I'll trim the end off the wire and solder the wire on there. And then see whether or not the uh, the strength of the magnet has been affected, so let's cut that down to about the length of the solder blob on the magnet and solder it on. Okay, whoops, I'm making a mess now because this solders too so easily. Now, I mean, it is obviously still magnetic. The question is, is it as magnetic as it was? before I heated it up. But I don't believe I heated it up that much because well, it was sitting on this metal um, bit of bracket, which isn't very hot at all. That would have sucked some of the heat out. Um, so the question is, does this magnet stick with any more ferocity than this magnet? No, I don't believe it does. I think that's absolutely fine. Let's uh, stick that onto the battery terminal. Well, something slightly odd has happened because if I stick that magnet on there, it sort of just sits anywhere you put it centrally. Whereas if I try and stick this on, it doesn't want to sit centrally. It'll sit there, but it kind of, it's as though the magnetization has moved. It, the one place it won't sit is centrally. It seems to push away from that central position. So possibly there's more magnetization in the bit that didn't get the heat than in the bit that did. It still sticks and it sticks fine to the negative terminal. There's still this sort of position where it is trying to push. So maybe I have shifted the magnetization around a bit. You can see that it just jumps around there. So it's not quite as magnetized as it was. I don't think that's going to be a major problem though. Because I want to connect these cells uh, in series. So you're going to have a connector magnet, which is the one I've soldered to, then a couple of spacer magnets then another connector magnet to put the other wire on there and then the other cell. So it's going to be like a stack like that. So with the other magnets in the stack, 
it will help to restore the magnetization to some extent. I mean, possibly a bigger problem is that because I now have a wire on there, it's offset the other magnets positionally, physically, but that all holds together reasonably well. So yes, it does seem that heating the magnet up did affect the magnetization in some way or other. It'd be nice if I had some sort of magnet magnetism visualizer because it just won't sit centrally on there anymore it pushes away which is a bit weird uh, but I think it will still do the job so I'm going to carry on and make the remaining uh, of these connectors and then I can get on with my uh, lithium cell charging video cheerio <laughs> 